What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and we are continuing our climb with this Iron Thorns team made by Scarlet Skill. It is very solid, um, you know, a cool little team. I enjoy it. We're just gonna hop right into it. Uh, last time we actually was, we were able to use the Iron Thorns, and I really like this set. It's Assault Vest Iron Thorns with Hippowdon next to it, and I genuinely, th I genuinely think Hippowdon's one of the most underrated Pokemon in the game right now, purely due to its ability to counter Sun by setting up Sand. Uh, you know, Tyranitar can do this, but Tyranitar is also weak to Fluttermane, which, you know, I don't care if you have an Assault Vest and Sand Sp uh, Spit F boost, uh, it's not going to eat the Terra Moonblast very comfortably with, like, choice specs. So, the Iron Thorns is able to sort of circumvent this, and what am I facing? Alright, we have to do some dissection of the team that we're looking at right here. That is a Bruxish. There is a weakness policy somewhere on this team. Where it is, I have no clue. I'm going to say it's likely going to be on that Ting Lu. So we just got to play like like insane. Um, I get a lot of value out of the Gyarados lead. And I also get a lot of value out of the Iron Thorns lead, in my opinion. Uh, along with Hippowdon, but I have to be a little bit careful here. Um, Iron Thorns does not enjoy these Pokemon quite a lot. And while they do have a lot of Pokemon that are weak to fire here. Um, and when I say a lot, I mean three, because I don't care if it's part water type, it dies to a heat wave, at least, you know, Iron Bundle does. I think that we're actually better off with the Fluttermane, just because Fluttermane's able to take on uh, the Pokemon well more broadly. Like nothing takes a, a Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam. But um, if I've ever seen a ladder team, this is it. I don't know what... They, whenever I see a Bruxish, it's it's immediately panic mode, bro. It is immediately panic mode. That is weakness policy Ting Lu. That is a weakness policy Ting Lu. I will accept no alternatives to the narrative I am forming in my head right now. We are going to obliterate that Ting Lu by doubling into it with a waterfall and a... Do I want a Terra Blast? I'm scared to Terra because the Iron Thorns becomes worse in every other matchup. Because, like I said, the rest of the team... The rest of the team's pretty scary if we don't have the Thorns. But I suppose I can just get rid of the... Yeah, you know what? I believe in myself. I believe in myself like no one has ever believed in themselves before. I am so certain that this is the correct play that the video will end immediately if I am wrong. Watch them Terra into like a typing that isn't hit super effectively by these two. Please be Terra Ground. Please just be doubling down on like a really crazy. Please be Terra Rock, actually. Terra Fire wouldn't even be that bad. The video doesn't have to end. I'm crazy. I'm just crazy with it today. It's Terra Rock Rock Slide. I'm simply crazy with it. Check this out. There's that Surf. That, there's that Dollar Store Surf. That dollar store surf that we don't even care about, dude. He's done. He's done. He's done, dude. Unless it's speed invested, in which case we're done. He's thinking, oh, you know, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, then. <laughs> Anyways, I'm crazy. There we go. There we go. Dude, I told you, as soon as you see that that Bruxish, you go, it's activating a weakness policy. There are certain things in life that are guaranteed. Death, taxes, and Bruxish using a weakness policy on its team. Luckily, none of these things will ever happen to me, except for death. That's just that's just like a given. Sorry to burst the bubble there. Um, I get a lot of value out of Thunder Waving this Gen Pow, to be honest. I can also just Heavy Slam. Bro, if I'm crazy and I Heavy Slam it... Am I crazy with it today? I could, I, I might possibly be crazy. I might possibly be crazy. I want the Thunder Wave because it just lets me go for Dazzling Gleams easier. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is he gonna go into a Bomba Snow? Because it's gonna give him a defense boost and he thinks he's crazy with it, but only I'm crazy with it. I'm the only insane person here. I'm living that.
You might be wondering, Marcos, why did you Thunder Wave instead of just waterfalling? Um, and that's because I, I didn't know if I would live it. <laughs> I am a very scared person. That didn't do anything. Why are you so why are you so heavy, sir? What have you been eating? Hello? Alright, luckily I can just waterfall and break this thing's um. I'm gonna break this thing's multi-scale, because it might be multi-scale. Um, and that will allow me to just end game sweep with uh Moonblast from Fluttermane. And not Moonblast, but Dazzling Gleam. There's the E-Speed. Cool. Fluttermane should never drop the Sucker Punch unless it's adamant, and I, I really don't think it is. Most of these guys are Jolly Sash. Break a hypothetical multi-scale. There's the Ice Spinner. We're going to eat it because we're crazy. Alright, time to click the move. You already know. We're clicking the move. We're clicking the move, guys. You already know. We're clicking the move. I wish we had a helping hand. All right. Uh, Chen Pao would never live this, but the Dragonite might, so my waterfall should go into you. Actually, technically speaking, should I Thunder Wave that slot just in case they want to go for a Sucker Punch? Um, I do believe I do that. I, I, do, I, do, in, I do indeed believe I do that. Because I think they want to Sucker Punch the... Uh, do I live this? I don't think I live this anymore, guys. Guys, I forgot that they do this now. I, I genuinely forgot that they do this now. I also thought it was Choice Banded. I genuinely thought it was Choice Banded. Alright, we can just skill the rest of this game. What was our last Pokemon again? It pout on? Oh, it's Lumberry. Okay. Okay, so that extreme speed's gonna hurt. That extreme speed's gonna hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and protect here on the E speed. And I'm gonna have to land a body press. I'm gonna need them to be fully paralyzed, and that's our win con. Despite doing everything right, sometimes this is just this is just the fate of the latter. Despite being crazy with it, my opponent was more crazy. Check this out. They're going to double the Gyarados because they're like, oh, he's protecting, bro. He's protecting that, uh, that Hippowdon. Call the protect on the Hippowdon. I dare you. I double dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fully paralyzed right here. This is it. The full para. Behold. There we go. That's our win con. That's our win con, baby. Meow. <laughs> okay. How do we beat the Bruxish? Because it is actually quite strong. I don't know if you know this. Bruxish has kind of a really good attack stat. And we don't have an Intimidate Pokemon. We do have Sand Tomb. That's a good tool. Um, my play... Is get the double. That is my play. Actually, I could yawn the Bruxish. I don't have Protect. Ooh. Ooh, is this my win con? I think I do Yawn the Bruxish. I get the double. I get the double. Extreme speed it now. Extreme speed it now. I don't care if we're lucky. We're simply good at the game. Wave crash? We're eating. We're eating. We're, we don't eat that well. We don't we don't eat it that well. I should have sand tombed actually. Yeah. Alright. Uh we don't eat it that well. Our new win condition is getting the quadruple. However, I do think that's just a wrap. Yeah, that Aqua Jet uh that Aqua Jet's a really good move on Dragonite, um, unfortunately. It's literally explicitly there. Um, as a tool to allow you to do that to um, maybe I just get into my barrier range with like some really good luck yeah it's explicitly there as a tool to allow you to you know just slack off uh, to allow you to KO <gasps> yo yo alright if I get like the world's craziest roll we can still win but I don't think we do 
I told you, it's got it's got a crazy attack stat. That's game. Yeah, uh, it's explicitly there to KO Flutter mains with the double. Now, while that does drop in three turns of sand, um, so do we. That's gonna be a forfeit right here, bro. This Bruxish, this Bruxish just ruined my life. Really, it was just the Aqua Jet turn that I couldn't call, and that was basically it. If I had my own Bruxish, it'd be over. <laughs> it was. It's the Bruxish diff, dude. That'd be nice. Nice Aqua Jet, idiot. <laughs> I'm simply too dazzling. All right, good game. I'm simply dazzling. I mean, I was going to dazzle, just a different kind. All right, let's keep going. Forgive the mess, by the way. I'm rearranging my recording room getting a, a sound studio in here so I can record some bars. Not really, no. <laughs> what time is it, by the way? I'm trying to go to bed by 11 tonight so I can stay somewhat on my schedule while still getting everything I need to get done tonight. 8.34, by the way. Pokemon Home comes out tomorrow. Ooh, Mel... Mel, 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 Mel Licorice. All right. Um, this is just, you know, Glamora Dozo stuff. Uh, I'm not sure how this team deals with Glamora Dozo. Let me just take a look. Does this thing have clear smog? It doesn't. Um, we deal with it with Choice Specs Fluttermane Endgame, but I'm not sure how to play towards that. This might be a complete L recording session. Um, I mean, Iron Thorns isn't the worst into it. But also Terra Grass and Pot on might just be a better option. Let's do this. I think I always have to end game with a Moongus. That's basically mandatory. What's our Terra on this guy again? If it's Ghost, I can see a, a route. Oh, it's Terra Water. Can't break the Sash with the Sand because it's a Rock type. Um. I definitely lead off with Fluttermane, I think. That's like the one thing I'm fairly certain about. The Pokemon next to it I don't know about. Let's do Chi Yu. Uh, I'll bring a Moongus, and I think for the last Mon, we get a lot of value out of Gyarados. Yeah. Hoping to pick up a W here. I'm not entirely certain I can. I don't know how to play this team with this team. Alright, Chen Pao. Yeah, that's probably banded Ting Lu if that's what they're leading. Um, if they're banded Ting Lu, they're probably just going to Earthquake and they might just protect here. I'm going to go ahead and get in my Gyarados and protect. Because I think Earthquake Protect is probably just their play. I know that's what I would do here. That was Choice Banded. Regardless, we get an Intim off, which is nice. Unless they're the rare, but still existent, Clear Amulet Ting Lu. Which they're not. Oh, it's the Clear Amulet Chen Pao. Oh, they might be Terra Flying. No, okay. Terra Fire. Glad I made the decision I did. Let's hope we got the play right. I got it right. They're totally banded. That is a dead giveaway they're banded. They rock slided. Okay, no, that's not what I was thinking. Um, I don't know if I eat this. Can I dodge? Let's go, Gyarados. You're literally the best. Simply the goat, in fact. Um, I can tear a water. I can also... I could tear a steel, and that's really solid into this now. Do I want to waste my tear on that? I think I do. I think I do just to guarantee I don't lose a Mon this turn. 
And I think I always Waterfall Heat Wave. Or I could even go Heart Amoongus on the Rock Slide. Parasteel Waterfall. Because that also gives me a Spore option. But then I have to be scared of the, uh, the Chen Pao. You know what? I think I just Heat Wave. I'm just going to go for it. I I'm going to say that if they're running Rock Slide with a Chen Pao next to it, that's got to be Banded Tinglu. It looks like they didn't swap, so I'm probably fine. I think they just want to Ice Spin a Rock Slide again. Yeah, this is... Ooh, that did more than I thought. Is that crit? It's not a crit. All right. So, and they're also not Sash, which is amazing for me. They might be... Oh, wait. What am I saying? Not Sash. We saw clear mode. Okay, flinch him now. I demand this of you. All right. Well, we didn't get the flinch, but honestly, that's... Did nothing. <laughs> Hold on. I did nothing. All right. Hold on. All right, silly goose. All right, silly goose. Show me the Don Dozo in the back right now. You goose. Oh, that's hands. That's not a good thing. Um, I would say here, I get quite a lot of value of just going into... All right. So if they're choice banded, which is my immediate assumption, but now I'm not entirely certain because they didn't do much to me even at neutral. Then again, we do have a lot of defense. Um, I think the assault vest pretty much has to be on the iron hand. So I feel comfortable going Amoongus and protecting. But now I'm left wondering what the last Pokemon is. Um, I, I, I guess it would be Glamora, because Geary Dozo doesn't make sense in this endgame. Yeah, that's banded. If that's their reaction, that's banded. All right, well. The Flutter Man. Um, do I hate this? I don't really hate this. As a matter of fact, this is probably fine. We do see their Protosynthesis, um, or their, their Booster Energy, so they might actually be like... Um, they might actually be Substitute, which I don't like. I don't like, but I also don't want to have to switch. I think my play here is just to spore the Iron Hands and hope that they're not... Goggles. And I don't really need Chi Yu to win anymore, although it does make my Amoongus somewhat weaker. I'm going to Heat Wave. Because it's just, it, it patches the substitute and a lot of like, yeah, no, that, that's what I figured. I was going to say a lot of um, Eastern teams, like teams from like um, Asia, um, tend to run substitute on their flutter mains. So I just wanted to make like a middle ground play to prevent that from being an issue. Hello, sir. They are goggles. I'm about to get, oh no, they're not goggles. They might be Lum? Dude, I don't know what I'm facing, bro. <laughs> this just became the scariest team I've faced all day, bro. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. Um, let's spore you and go for a uh, another heat wave. How about that? That sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds like a good play. Luckily, they can't wake up this turn. And I'm practically guaranteed to get a spore off on that Flutterman. Unless I miss. Alright, they're Berry. Dude, what if they're like Citrus Berry, Focus Energy, Belly Drum? I would cry. I would cry and not feel good. Alright, um, I just repeat my turn, to be honest. I could also go hard Gyarados here. But I don't think that's worth it. I think I want to keep the pressure up to prevent a, a substitute. Yeah. I should eat that. Unless they crit. They don't crit. Get my little citrus berry on. My, my little... Get a little snack on. Get my little snacky snack. Don't miss. Nice chunk of damage. Get the spore off. And they get burnt. That's huge. No substitutes for you, mister. And they stay fast asleep. Alright. I think that's just game, basically. They're... Wait, what just happened? Oh, wait, no, that burn was bad for me, actually. Now that I... Now that I consider the repercussions of my actions, that burn was actually quite bad. Um... 
Is the double protect the play here? I think that is the play. Let us gauge their, their decisions, you know? I need to prevent them from getting too much recovery on that Iron Hands with a Drain Punch. And I have the feeling they're just going to wake up this turn. Dazzling wouldn't KO my Chiyu, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I also can't afford to miss a Heat Wave. Does Dark Pulse KO from this range? I could have just stayed in, bro. Alright, um, if they're going to do that, I just Spore into that slot again. I could also just Rage Powder, actually. Eh, Spore's just better. In case they wake up. I don't live. And Heat Wave. A Shadow Ball. Alright. They tried to call a switch there into my Flutter Main to prevent like a Drain Punch. But um, I'm fine. I'm good. That's game. Yeah, because their uh, Tinglu never beats what I have in the back. Granted, they could spam Earthquake, but all I really need to do here is um, swapping Gyarados once, and then I always win. And yes, I am Terra Steel, and I recognize that they can Earthquake my Terra Steel Gyarados, but the point is... Or actually, no, I don't do that, because they could Earthquake my Terra Steel Gyarados, and I have to go for damage. All right, so my play here is Dark Pulse, and just get some chip damage off, and I'm also going to go for the Spore. That is how I do this, because it gets it into range of the Gyarados plus Flutter Main endgame. And like I said, I'm fairly certain they're banded. Nice. All right, yeah, we win. Nice little flinch, too. Just to rub it in. So I'm really glad we are able to call the choice band basically immediately. Um, that's, that's something that I think is a really good skill on ladder. I, I would say I'm a better tournament player than I am a ladder player. That's, like, one thing I definitely need to improve on. And that's why I'm also using a lot more rental teams in the next couple of days. Uh, by the way, if you have a rental team, comment it down below with the rental code in the pokey paste. Uh, and I'll be sure to try it out if I if I find it interesting. But yeah, I think that being able to call out certain items just by looking at like the team archetype and how it's like built, like what Pokemon are on it, being able to identify what has what item um, is pretty crucial. And we did that twice today. We did it with the weakness policy. That didn't work out in the long run. I could play a little bit better. Um, and the second one was obviously this one where I said that has substitute, that has weakness policy. That's like a skill that I think is really, really important to getting better at ladder. Granted, in open team sheets, it's less important, but it, the same skills sort of apply with like EV spreads. So yeah, um, that's me for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.